Hey, hey. What the hell is this place? Shut up. I better go outside and call Warren. Oh, please answer. Hey, hey, everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Rick Games, and welcome back to Life is Strange. Uh, we left right where we left off, which is awesome, because I thought it was going to be... Frank isn't a bad person, but he can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. I thought we were going to be like, uh, oh, it's going to take you back a bit, but it saved exactly the point. Jefferson. To any more shows. You'll be going to shows in jail. Show, show, oh, jail, please. jail, show, I don't know. I'm going to save you for the last time. Why does he have her necklace if she's still alive? Oh, she's not still alive. What the hell am I talking about? None of this reality or whatever. Looked for Nathan's body with this. What? Oh. He bought a bus ticket, so he, he it made it look like he just got on a bus and left, but he Looks didn't. Like he's Jefferson dead. Jefferson was planning a major security renovation. With Prescott cash. Wait, what? I thought... Home surveillance system. Damn! They did $4,500? Wait, then where was he... Where was he looking to put up surveillance? Look at his photograph. Jefferson had plenty of women who would have totally posed for him. Uh-huh. But he didn't want to give his subjects a choice. It makes a better thing. No physics. Screw physics in this game. Good God. It's a studio. No kidding. We figured that out already. Jefferson looks so pathetic now. Does he? He just looks unconscious. His hands are duct taped. He looks kind of screwed up. David Madsen is on the case. He's still looking for evidence. To know about this. David, hey. Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. Did you? I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. Hey Max, I'll never forgive myself for what happened to Kate. I feel like I helped push her off that roof. Yeah, Kate was bullied. Kate was bullied up to that roof. But it was still Nathan and Jefferson who put her there. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and... Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make No, he should have just regret. believed you. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe... And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys Well, you had each other. Okay, are you guys hearing, like, a scratchiness in the audio? Or is it just through my headphones? Like, like I gotta go headphoneless, so I'm sorry if this is messing with the recording and you guys can hear weird stuff, but I want to I hear it through the TV speakers. Uh, we're a great team. We, we are a great team. That's, That's one, one of my problems. problems. Yeah, it's only through my headphones. That means my headphones are going out. Son of a bitch. I never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not going to make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but 
When Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Who kept all those files? Yeah, mistakes were made made on both ends. We get it. You. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. Okay, we're just gonna... Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. Yeah, well, she's dead. Can I go I fix this? I Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but... Maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. Yeah. So, where is Chloe? Oh, she's at the junkyard. I what what's what what it's what is it gonna do? We're gonna go outside and call Warren and fix all this anyway, right? Tell him the truth. David, uh, Chloe is is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson Killer in the junkyard last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! Tell you what? You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! Easy! Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait! wait. Damn! All right, then. <coughs> Excuse me. Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? What have you done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. I mean, he's not a cop. He's not. It's not like he shot a man in handcuffs while he's in custody. He, was, his security guard, did some kind of citizen's arrest type of deal, and presumably was going to call the police. I would immediately start unduct taping him, making sure he doesn't have any. What? Oh. Jesus. Yeah. All of these lives destroyed. Rachel, Chloe, Kate, even Nathan. I wish I could keep killing you forever. Jesus. Okay, let's get out of here. Leave the dark ass room. Okay, we're outside now. Um, do you want to take that car? Freedom. Is it? Holy shit. This storm is real. You knew the storm was real. 
Stella? Yes. Hey, you have service. Give Warry Bar a call. Warren. Warry Bar Alice. Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah. But why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. We can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. You got a car. Stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm's getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Get in the car. Do you not know how to drive? Why are you freaking out about this? Seem to be doing fine. I mean, you are driving in a hurricane, so that's that's a problem. Just take it slow. You'll be all right. culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. Please turn that off. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now. Now, God damn it, how do I pay all those taxes? Oh, it's weird that it tripped the... You have one new message. In the microphone. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's Nathan. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Why is she just getting this now? Everybody used me. Everybody? Everybody <laughs> used you? It's coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Thanks for the warning. I'm sorry. Cool. At least he apologized before he died. So many people are dead. Can we can we fix this, please? I don't know what the hell the end of this is gonna be. This is this is crazy. Um. Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Hey. How you doing? Need a ride? Is that Warren? No. Let's roll down the window. You alright? <laughs> Need some help? Little car trouble? I'll take an umbrella at least. Hurricane slash tornado spot of the son of the both of them. It's a coming. Okay. Yeah, where is that? Hey, that guy is trapped. I have to help everybody I can. Thanks, kid. You okay? Once no, clearly not. Here. He's not okay. I've been hauling loads for way too long in this shit old town. You better go now. And I ain't never coming back here. You need a lift? No Can we get rid of the two wheels there? You go, girl. You go. <laughs> you go, girl. Go get that boy. Hey, uh, really? Whoa! Okay, let's rewind. Whoa, well, what happened to you? Come on, faster. Where is he? Go, move. Never mind. 
shot ever. Evan, did you see that tornado? Get the hell out of here. Max, there's no way I can pass up these images. Just this look at end. it. It's you all over a picture now. when you're dead. Now move your ass. Okay, if you insist. There we go. Saved his life too. Oh, Max. You do know things. You know idiot. things and stuff. Well, you don't find a safe spot until this blows over. Okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero. Come with me. I have to help no. somebody else first. Where the hell's the dang diner? Oh, there it is. It's over there. We're almost there. Where you walk? Oh, God. You're all dead body. Oh, you're not dead. You're not. No, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Oh, I can't stand seeing these bodies. Can please, I please, oh, please, please, all right? Please. Can the eye do something about this? Oh, wait. If I do, oh no. What, but I... Come on, really? I can only go all the way back? Really? Come on. And he's still dead. Do I have to go back and save all those people now? Yes. Alright, so that didn't help anybody at all. Get the hell out of here. Da -da 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 -da. Over. Come on, move a little faster there, Max. I didn't know it was going to take away everybody I helped and still not be able to help the dead guy. Okay, now let's get out of here. To the diner. I thought I was going to be able to save the dead guy. I forget what that blonde lady's name is. She's one of... Um... Victoria's cronies. Victoria's dead anyway. We're gonna fix all this. Everything's fine. Just gotta be able to get there. Sorry about your dead friend. Or father or something. And drawing. Uh, I... I can't think about all those children out there. Why would you want to help you get down? Alyssa! How do I how do I help Alyssa? I know. I'm, I'm trying. I'm figuring it out. No. I can't cross this way. Is there another way around? I can't hop on this truck? Help me. I'm trying. Alyssa needs help again. Again. Yeah, this is exactly like her getting hit with a football. Help me get down, Max. Alyssa, are you okay? Let me help you down. Yes, yeah, please, Max. I don't want to die like this. Find something to get me down. Do you want to die like anything right now? For God's sakes, help me get down! Alright, calm down. Alright, I will. I'm very well aware. I'm looking for something that will help you get down. Oh, plank. I see a plank. Can I really only get that... I know you do. Cuss about it some more, would you? Help me get down, Max. What do you think I'm doing? Use. I didn't know I had to get it from there. I thought I needed something else. Walk the plank, ye! 
Take my hand. Oh my god, just in time, like we weren't the cause of that. You need to get out of here. I have to help other people. Watch out, Matt! Damn, that was close. Thank you, Alyssa. Now we're even. Are we? Because I saved you a buttload of times. But the, store, the score still is heavily in my favor. I don't know how to get across this. Can I go through something? Can I... Go around somehow. Well, we know there's not a way in through there. So how do I get around? Yes, he's dead. Leave it alone. How do I get through? Oh, damn. Wait, is that a whale or is that from the two whales diner? Ah, it's a whale. Ah, it's a whale. Okay. Uh, hey. Nice bald eagle. Nice bald eagle you got there. Not gonna lie. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. Damn, dude. That's sick looking. That's actually really scary. I, I don't... I don't... I should move faster with this. Alright, then I don't know, man. I can't go up here, right? There's nothing I can do up here? Where'd that plank go? Move the plank again and get across and then somehow dive? I don't know. I can move it faster if I hold R2. Did I know that from the beginning? I thought you had to push down a... What is it? L3? The drawing is the only thing I got. I don't know what to do. I, I can't think about all those children out there. Out where? We're fine. What do I do? You could easily step over all of this. Hey, do you know how to get to the two L's diner from here? No? Alright. Oh no, he dead, sweetie. Oh, here we go. Don't you freeze on me, game. Cool. How can I get out of here? Well, we're entering a burning building, so this isn't good. If we can make it out of this, Chloe. Shakespeare in the woods. Gotcha. Is now the time for this? Every this other makes Saturday. Me so sad. Why? I mean, softball. I guess you know I'd be sad too if I was playing it. Fuse box. Why does this matter? Don't fail me, fuse box. Okay. Oh. Oh. He's dead. Electrocuted. I didn't know that. Hey, mister. Get out of there. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock. Uh, he might not hear me. Then how do I get to him? I... Okay. I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. But how do I get to the fisherman? I got, I can't just kill a man because I need to get through. You never know when someone's gonna come along with a sadistic choice. Fisherman. I want to help that fisherman. All right, all right. He's in shock and he might not hear me. Oh, he's about to be in shock. Damn. I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first. How about I put it out with softball? 
This makes me so sad. Don't fail me, Fusebox. I mean, do I just do it? Is that literally my only option? <coughs> do I have literally no other option? I can't even get up, go back outside. That sucks! I can't just break the window more? Alright. That sucks that it gave me zero goddamn choice. Oh, maybe I can go in there and move them? Maybe I can go in there and move them. And then rewind time. In what? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! All right, let's do something about this. We gonna uh, do something about this? I said, are we gonna do something about this? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Come on! What you gotta do about it, Maxie? Really? We're just gonna leave? Are you serious? Well, I can rewind time now. There you go. There you go. Oh, now I can get him, right? No. Are you serious? These cans are in my way? Well, he's still alive, so there's that. See ya, fisherman boy. At least he's still alive, right? Yes, I killed him, but I brought him back to life, so it was like he was never really dead in the first place. Two whales, baby! Let's go! Is there anyone else around that needs help and or killing? Oh dear. Well, that's not good. Alright. Uh, what can I do? I'm sure that's going to explode, so I'm going to uh, continue to rewind that. I don't know what to do to uh, change that from happening. Is it exploding? Yep. How do I stop that from happening? Stop that fire! Stop that fire! How do I stop the fire? How do I stop the fire? Sand! Gotcha! Look! Sand! Well, I'm gonna rewind that. Use sand. Yes. Hey, cool. Does that actually say fire sand on it? Boy, how did that slug you? Oh, it will be. Blocked off. What? Damn, this is blocked off. Now I have to uh, get into the guy. Well, there's another door. Step over the whale carcass. Really? Alright. Let's go this way, I guess. That sand, by the way, is eventually going to wash away. Probably before the fire goes out, because it's a 
oil fire or a gas fire, or whatever. Open a door. Get on the floor. Everyone do the dinosaur. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay. Go get him, Juliet. Who the hell's what? Uh, writing an essay. Okay. Uh, whatever. Yeah, a bunch of bullies. The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. At least nobody's going to starve in here. Well, yeah, you're in a diner. There's worse places to be trapped. That's all ripped up, apparently. Okay, sure. Hello. Max. Hey, what's going on? Oh, Frank's all torn up. Oh, Max. I am here to help. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Um. Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get yeah, you. Yeah, they're all dead. We need to get I out of here. Get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. I'm guessing they can't leave because of the injured people. How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow. The eclipse? There's nothing I don't you think... can do about yeah. it, Lauren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. This shirt is gross. I gotta change this. So Hello. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Lauren to help Chloe. Yeah, like seriously, give me the freaking thing. I hate to say I'm glad to see you. But I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. The important thing is that you have you the photograph. After Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Dude. What? I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found <laughs> out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? Uh, no, he killed Chloe. There's a whole bunch. Go back in time. Jefferson already killed Chloe. You want to move your mouth while you're talking about it, or? I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All oh, because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist. Maybe because you talk without moving your mouth. At school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did did he hurt you? He dosed me. Rachel was killed. I mean, both are true. Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. He just needed mental help. Now they're both dead. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. We're trying together, but you believe me, this is my fault. Yeah, this is my fault. All this destruction is my fault. Give me a break. You sure the hell didn't give yourself time travel powers? I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And... 
I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Warren's Thanks a good me. guy. Always. Here's the photo. Do what you gotta do. Come on, Joyce. Alright, before I do that, let me talk to Joyce and all them. Hey, Frank. Hey, okay, Max. How you doing? Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Let's talk Frank. to Frank. Why not? I'm so glad you're here. Are you okay? What? Besides this tornado, the hole in my leg, not to mention the fact that I might die on the floor of a diner, and you're the last person I could see. You know what? I'm cool. Jesus. And I bet you and Chloe didn't find Rachel. Oh, we found her. <sighs> Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. Fuck you, Max. No. No way. She left town. She's gone. Now, how do you know, huh? How? Found her dead All body. All clues led us to my professor, Mark Jefferson. He had this creepy photo torture chamber. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph black students. Prescott? <sighs> Fuck! Fuck! I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him. My dog doesn't like you. I don't like you. You saw Rachel. Yeah. Yes. I wish I did it. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... He killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? Overdose. He used some drug. Gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan oh, could have no. done it is, is if I oh, saw it. Oh no, dude! I killed my lioness. No. I didn't think what of that. Done. Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He won't be hurt. Everybody's dead. Anymore. Nathan's dead too. Rachel. Don't worry about it. Oh, God. You can call it justice if you want. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just it's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. Uh I know. Neither would Chloe. It doesn't matter. Chloe's dead too. She Jesus Christ! Cared about you, Frank. No, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But uh now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. Now, what does that mean? In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Cool. All right, we'll see you later. <laughs> now that I've hey, what's up, Pompadou? At least Frank still has Pompadou at his side. I was just about to drive to Los Angeles too. Menu. Why am I looking at all this stuff? It's hard to believe people were eating breakfast here only a few hours ago. Yeah, let's sit down. Bobby, do you want to come up and have a seat with me? We're just going to sit down and look at all the graffiti on the table and... Hey, bud. Aw. Max. Give yourself one moment to do nothing. That's actually good advice. This is where I convinced Chloe I could rewind time. With that exact table. So, what's the point of this power? What's the lesson? To keep fixing what I keep fucking up. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't. No, because 
I didn't ask for this gift. Right, but you got it. But I was able to stop Mark Jefferson. And now I can stop Chloe from dying. As well as a buttload of other people. For the last time. Is it going to be the last time, though? I, I don't know what the point of the power is. All right, come on, let's go. Get off me. I didn't know what button I had to hit. I want to know what the graffiti says, I forget. I'd like to look at it, but no time. Excuse me, Warren. Oh, look, a first aid kit. Good job, Warren. I hope those supplies are enough. Where did you get a bunch of first aid kits? All right, focus on the photo. Let's go. Hey. <coughs> Be careful out there. Thanks, buddy. You too. Uh, should I kiss him? He's been such a sweetheart and has helped me every step of the way and has had some great advice. We have a lot in common. I kind of ship the two of them together. For luck. Oh, for luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say. I knew, Warren. No, I was going to tell you I have a huge boner of right now. You do. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Focus on a photo! Uh, I'm so wasted off of this half a beer, man. Uh. You're in. No time for this shit. Come on, Max. Yeah, we uh, can't. Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. Connected to Rachel. Let's go now. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, I have you no idea what to say to you. Party. You're going to. You're gonna die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time, and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mr. Jefferson, Jefferson killed you and others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Now, excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you Come coming? Come on, no. Are you kidding me? Nathan's dead. Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Uh, Jefferson killed him. Jefferson, Henry Jefferson is a psychopath. All of these are true. Uh, hurt me. Sure. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No. Not this way. Why not? Chloe, I I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. 
I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? Yeah. What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I've been multiverse hopping, apparently. A fucked up, terrible choice, nothing. Um. Did I make a terrible choice? I don't know. I mean, a couple, probably. I would just say I fucked I up. I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I don't know. Back in time. I was able to go back in time. Oh, God, we're telling her everything. Okay. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to... End your life. I did. For you, I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and... As usual, I messed everything up, and I never want to hurt you, ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Why not tell the actual I, cops? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. David cares about you. David was ahead of us. David saved me. There you go. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. But, but you were dead in the junkyard. I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. All right. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. Let's go, Robin. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? Oh, always Probably. Oh, okay. Okay, so she didn't die then, right? Okay, we explained everything to David. Did he fight him in the dark room? He brought the police. Max is not in a tornado. Or we're facing the tornado. What the hell? The tornado's still happening. Oh, Chloe. I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much. For the time being. It worked. Actually worked. Except. You're with me again. Tornado. It looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. Nope, we're all gonna I don't die. Blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on, I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. 
Even I guess. If you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. Okay, sure, think that. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Why would I say that? The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. We're gonna this, die. This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. We gotta the be able to. Uh... Out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Didn't we? Chloe. I've got your back, Rex. What the hell's going on? Whoa. Are you kidding? Alfred Hitchcock famously called film little pieces of time. Uh, I'm back in class. As he what the hell? Us. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our sorrow. Have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. <coughs> this <coughs> might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm. It's okay. Don't freak out. I'm going to freak out. Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as well. Um. What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. Are you not? Frame any one of freaking out about this? And capture you in a moment of desperation. Huh? But he's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? Gonna say yes! This doesn't make sense. It absolutely doesn't, but we're gonna figure it out next time under our caves. I have no idea what the hell is going on. How did I get back here? I didn't travel through time and I didn't I didn't see a photograph. I didn't rewind time, nothing. I was at the lighthouse with Chloe, everything was fixed, except that the tornado was killing us all. And uh now I'm back here. And then a bunch of birds hit the window. And now they're gone. The correct use of colors and this it's a, a nightmare. I want to wake up. Yeah, but look at this pretty Mr. Potato Head thing here. I don't know what this correct use of colors means. I don't know. Alright. Well, Excuse me. Oh, I should end the end of the episode. Uh, yeah, please like the video. Subscribe. <laughs> I completely forgot. I got lost in the eyes of a Mr. Potato Head mug. I am so sorry. Please. <laughs> Excuse me. Please like the video and subscribe to Rick Games. It helps me out a lot when you do that. And check out the annotations at the end of the video for more videos that I've done next time on Rick Games. Rending Life is Strange. Bye.